I said I was gonna upload again, and damn it, I'm uploading again. <sighs> I'm back on my grind, like I said. Here to talk about the Mossberg 500A. I briefly talked about it in the last video at the end. They told me the gun cannot be fixed. They tried to take it apart. They tried to sand it down. Everything. They said they didn't want to do any more further damage to it. Look, I mean, look at this beauty. Like I said, I might just get another. See if I can find something close to it. I know I can. Mossberg uh, 500. What is it? 500A. Um, let's see. Yeah, the 500A 12 gauge. The gun is beautiful, beautiful, but you can't really tell on camera. It's let me see. They got it a little bit unstiff. It could ripe to the back now with a little pressure. Take some pressure to do it. Can't really tell on the inside. Uh, oh, let me see. I'm gonna try and use this light inside of it it's just maybe if I go from here very rustic the front part is this gun is just over with I'll keep it in my collection because it's been in my family for so long so I'm trying to rack it back forward aye 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 Mossberg 500A. RIP to this gun. Uh, gotta hold a funeral for it. RIP, baby. I'll keep you in my collection, in my safe, in the back of my safe. I'll probably give it to my son. I'm not gonna give it to my brother. I'll give it to my son when he gets old enough. Maybe we'll get like my age, something like that. But that's it for the 500A. Can't be fixed. It's spray painted and it is, I don't know who spray painted it and I don't know who let it sit up and get rusted because I take care of all my guns even though I don't use all my guns all the time. I take care of them, I regularly break them down, clean them. <sighs> I already have a gun that's similar to the Mossberg 500, also in the Mossberg family. This one here, which is my Maverick 88. It is. Do I got safety on? Yeah, safety's on. Look. There you go. Empty. It's completely empty. This is a Maverick 88. It's similar to the 500A. I would say it's like the little cousin of 500A. Only thing I don't like is this stupid, ugly folding stock. I gotta see how I can get it off or if I could take it somewhere to get it off. I do not like this stock at all. It's so ugly folding stock. The gun will look so much better. It feels just like this. This ugly little folding stock is just not good. But this gun does have a lot of kick, just like the 500A. And a funny story about the 500A. I accidentally shot that gun in my house. I think I got a video. I do have a video on my channel where I talked about it briefly, but I was playing with, uh, I'm embarrassed to say it, but where is it? Uh, oh no, I think I got it out, hold up. So I was playing with, at the time it wasn't mine, it was just in the house, because my dad kept it in the closet, I knew where it was, it was just out and I had uh, <clears throat> 12 gauge and 28 gauge these two kind of shells don't look similar at all one is clearly bigger I put 28 gauge in I put it in and racked it in it didn't do nothing it fell out I put the 12 gauge in racked it in it didn't fall out it stayed in there and I was about to sit it down I accidentally I didn't even fully pull the trigger I accidentally like, had my finger like right here and then it just hit, boom. and then luckily I didn't hit nothing important I hit the wall in the bathroom and put a big hole in it but it didn't go all the way through and I'm glad it didn't I think I 
got a picture of it. If I do, I'm going to import it right here in this video. I think I got a picture of it on one of my phones. But I shot the gun in the house. That's why we always preach about gun safety and learning the gun safety. Because I was young. I was, oh, I was, I think I was 12. And I, I didn't know no better. I didn't know nothing about guns. I was just doing it. But it was just me and my brother home at the time. Luckily, he was not in front of me. Or luckily, I didn't have it pointed at him. Because that could have went terribly wrong. So that's why we always preach about gun safety, learning about guns, learning how to break them down, how to clean them, how to store them properly, those kind of things, because it's important. And you should never play with guns, because things like that can happen. And you don't want any mistakes like that to happen. Not only once, but more than once. And I also have this gun here, Mossberg 3, uh, what is it? The, I think it's a 395 KB. Yeah, the 395 KB. This gun, I actually took it to the range once. It scares me. This gun is like 16 inches. I shot it. This gun blew me almost back to the wall. This gun is like super, super powerful. I mean, this is a gun you gotta shoot on a really, really good day. It's super, super powerful. And I only shot one slug out of it and i have not shot that gun again since it's just been back here behind me in this corner because i'm scared to shoot this gun again i'm not gonna lie i am scared because it almost blew me back when i shot this just like how the 500 a did it almost blew me back when i first shot it the Mossberg maverick it didn't really blow me back but it did hurt my shoulder because it's not no padding on this thing it's just all plastic so it's hard to shoot it's all plastic on the stock that's why I want to get rid of this stock and just change it out so I think I'm gonna look into doing that looking look up a video or something how I can remove it or take it to gunsmith had him remove it change the stock on it because I don't like it the reason this gun I think kicks so hard is it's bolt action it's nothing in it is I think two takes two rounds in the magazine and one in here so it carries like three it's bolt action very heavy gun i used to own one back in the day but this gun is just no no weird bolt action i'm not used to bolt action shotguns rifles yes but bolt action shotguns not so much Kind of weird and this gun has a whole lot of kick to it if i do find that video i will like i said i will link it down in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching this video what i'm gonna do is upload every other day that way i'm not overwhelmed and trying to upload and record 24 hours a day so i upload one day off one day upload off upload off upload off so every other day i'm still wearing the same shirt from two days ago i need to get in the shower i need to change my clothes i just got done with a workout and i just made another youtube channel as if i'm already busy enough trying to manage two channels i just made a whole nother channel and i'm gonna make some shorts on this channel too maybe like one or two minutes uh one minute not two minutes but like one minute short videos on this channel we're gonna try out shorts and yeah stay tuned in the next couple of months for an updated gun video because i think you guys are gonna enjoy all my new purchases thanks for watching see you soon oh subscribe to my main channel and subscribe to my second channel i'm not gonna put the other channel in the description just yet i'm just gonna wait so thank you for watching